Pottery, which is the oldest form of art and expression that speaks to our connection with the earth, is slowly being eroded into nothing but dust. Even a brief visit to India's biggest potter settlement, the Kumar Colony, reveals the dismal future that awaits these people of the mud. As highlighted by many tabloids, the residents of Kumar Colony are in the middle of a major crisis, and so far no one has been able to take any corrective action. The demand for earthenware has been on a constant decline, with cheaper, more durable alternatives like aluminium and plastic utensils taking over the market. The demand for pottery by nature is very seasonal. It experiences a surge every year, close to festivals like Diwali. During this time, the potters try to accumulate as much funds as possible because they know that they would not experience any cash flow during the rest of the year and they'll be forced to survive on whatever they can accumulate right now. The time of Diwali used to be a wave of relief for these artisans, but since 2019, even that wave has been on a low tide. People have started shifting towards electrical lighting, which has driven down the seasonal demand even more. Furthermore, the South Delhi Municipal Corporation has placed many restrictions on firing kilns that are the traditional furnaces used by potters. The team of an artist RLAC realized that a simple intervention in the marketing strategies was no longer a viable option. The very nature of these goods made it very hard to create a stable demand for them. We looked into earthen cutlery and other implements with the motive of finding products that could generate a steady flow of income. But after numerous hours sunk into market research and alternative products, the solution finally clicked. We needed to bring the potters out of the ever-shrinking product market and help them navigate the rapidly expanding service market. The answer thus lies in taking the skills of the potters and looking at them as the end rather than the means. This is where our project, the Finesse Studio, comes into picture. A quick look up on Google shows that there is a lot of demand for online and offline pottery courses which remains untapped by these potters. This is due to a lack of understanding of the market and unavailability of the investment capital required. The Finesse Studio aims to empower potters not by selling their products but by making them teachers and allowing them to market their skills. With our beneficiaries, we have so far been able to develop a short form and a long form course structure, both of which were very well received by the target audience. The potters of Kumar Colony will no longer be sitting idly when it's not the peak season for the sale of pottery, but rather they will don the cape of a teacher and tutor hobbyist in the art of traditional Indian pottery. With the skill development program in the works, we also plan to work with NGOs to impart pottery as a full-fledged employable skill to those who lack any other form of formal knowledge. This is Isaac and I'm the director of Art for Change Foundation in New Delhi. Uh, we are an organization that works with art and artists to shape society with beauty and truth. We were happy to uh, host the program along with Samadhan called Mud Musings by the Finnish studio. It was a very well planned and executed program and uh, even though we had a few less uh, than expected um, uh, submissions, uh, as it was the first program, I think there's a massive scope for uh, something like this, especially where a program um, benefits uh, the artist community directly, like in this case, uh, where Mr. Dean Dayal and his family were di directly benefited by the, uh, by the program. To come on board with the Finesse Studio, potters require minimal training. This is because traditional pottery is a skill that is passed down from generations and the potters are already predisposed to teach it further. This makes it very easy for more and more beneficiaries to join hands with us. Among the 17 sustainable development goals set up by the United Nations, Project Finesse is directly working towards goal number 8, decent work and economic growth, and goal number 10, reduced inequalities. However, the scope of this project is much wider as it also indirectly worked towards goal number 1, no poverty, goal number 11, sustainable cities and communities, and goal number 17, partnership for the goals. We officially launched this project in March of 2022, and in the mere three months, we have already helped two beneficiaries teach pottery to over 120 people and generated over 20,000 rupees in revenue. All of this speaks to the vast scope and potential of the Finesse Studio, an initiative by Enactus RLAC.